So uh, the other day, I was at the post office. And there was one person behind the desk, and she hated her job. And there was a line of like 20 people, so we all hated her job too. In front of me, there was this woman who just kept getting in and out of line until eventually she turned to me and said, Ugh, I just can't stand in this line. If I give you the money, will you mail my package for me? And I said, sure. And she handed me $2 told me to keep the change smiling like she was the one doing me a favor. The other day, I was waiting in line at a hotel counter. I'd been there for 10 minutes. I was the next person in line until these two white ladies with suitcases the size of children roll their bags right in front of me. I wait. I try to give them the benefit of the doubt. Then they roll right up to the counter and I say, excuse me, excuse me, I don't mean to be rude, but then the air becomes this soundproof pane of glass I keep hitting up against. The other day, I was at the airport, waiting in line, when these two white women in fur coats start pushing their way to the front, saying, excuse us, excuse us, we can't wait, we have a plane to catch. Like, the rest of us were just standing there for fun. Like, we weren't all trying to get to the same place. Two minutes later, a woman and a red-faced man walk the path the fur coats have cleared. The woman is terrified, the man loud. The other day, I was standing in line at the reception of a person of color writing conference, when suddenly a white woman walks through the door, reaches through the line for the food on the table, saying, excuse me, excuse me, I know this is horribly rude, but then another and another, until there's just this line of brown bodies with white hands reaching right through them. The other day, forgive me, but I could have sworn I had a body that it was solid and opaque. And the story that no one or everyone wants to hear is that the brown boy was no saint, that he got out of line, that he had to be put back in his place, but who could blame him really? There's always been a woman with money or a fur coat or a mean husband. Forgive me, white lady. I know you know about waiting. I know you know about the step across the line and the red that sometimes follows, about hands reaching through you like you don't live in your skin, though you do, so you feel everything I know. You know about men with guns, with fists, with locked doors, but the other day, my professor passes for a white lady, complains about getting a ticket for not waiting at a red light, and the other day, a cop, white lady, scolds my mother like a naughty child, and the other day, a boy is killed, and no one can wash his blood from their tongues, and the other day, a trans woman is killed, and her body does not make a sound, and in the beginning, a slave girl is raped by her master, and his wife, white lady, orders the skin torn from her back for the crime of having a body at all, I know, I know. We're all just trying to get to the same place. And so the other day, forgive me, but how could I care if the boy had also had a gun?